Voters in Thailand head to the polls tomorrow in an election that could set the country on a path toward ending almost nine years of military rule. The vote will pit conservative parties against the one that was, that's been backed by controversial former Prime Minister and billionaire Thaksin Shinawat. But a young progressive party is surging ahead in the polls with policies designed to shake the establishment to its core. It's the kind of reception Australian politicians can only dream of. But for Peter Lim Jiranrat, this is his daily reality. The leader of Thailand's progressive Move Forward party has shot to the top of the polls ahead of Sunday's election. This is the future of our country. Someone told me Peter was coming, so I made my son drive me here right away. Move Forward is winning over voters who want the pro-military establishment out of office. A regime that used water cannon, tear gas and rubber bullets to quash massive youth protests against it and the country's untouchable monarchy in 2020. I'm sure the frustration is there and it will be shown in the ballot, for sure. And, you know, so, and, and ties will prove that ballot is stronger than bullets. Protest leader Chin Teacher Jang Ru, who's facing 28 criminal charges, including two of criticising the monarchy, is now a move forward candidate. I might be useful to push through some laws, particularly on human rights. I want to fulfil in Parliament those demands I once called for on the street. The party wants big changes, including a review of the controversial royal defamation law, a radical reform in the eyes of Conservatives. Suddenly they want to do this and that. The country's not a toy. This new generation party provokes people to devalue our institutions. I can't accept it. Despite its popularity, Move Forward is not expected to win government. Experts are predicting a coalition will be formed, and even moderate partners are wary of joining forces with a party that wants so much to change. Zoe Ford, ABC News, Bangkok.